All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming crew, and welcome back to another episode of The Link Between Worlds Let's Play. And if you guys missed out during the last one, we went and continued onwards with the halfway mark throughout our time within the Swamp Palace. And let me tell you guys, it was pretty annoying with those dreaded switch gauges just to go and rise up the level of the water or raise it down on depending on what type of area that we were at. But anywho, we went and completed off with that. We got ourselves with the big key, and now it's onwards to go and battle up with the boss by the name of Argus, uh, which he is a little bit tricky of a boss because you do have to go and use the hook shot to make sure that you go and take all of his defenses away but however i do actually have a red potion on me so i'll make sure to go and use that when the time is right if i start losing uh, any type of health or whatnot because i do want to go and keep all my rental items as best as i can uh, if you guys can recall because if we lose out on those rental items we have to go and repick them all up again but it's a good thing that we have a safe state and a low state so i can be able to go and make sure that we can uh, take care of that without having no problems of getting ourselves into a game over like that um uh, but Anywho, uh, as well too, uh, we actually do have one other big item that is actually here within the Swamp Palace, and I never got to go and show this off to you guys, and it just crossed my mind that we can go and find this item right in here in the Swamp Palace. Now, if you guys remember when I told you about us going and finding the uh, the Titan Mitts uh, within that time of that uh, of the Desert Palace, which I believe that is going to be our next location for our time there, um, I think there's two different items that we could go and find uh, within that uh, well within that dungeon because there's two big chests. You have the big chest for the key, uh, like the big key that we went and picked up here in the Swamp Palace, but also having another progressive uh, main item that is going to be going on. And uh, over here in the Swamp Palace, we can actually go ahead through this little teleporter here. And if you guys remember, there was a doorway that I don't think we ever really went on into yet because uh, of just the position of how the different water levels were going to be. Well, since we already got ourselves with the whole area finally open to where the boss door is going to be, we don't really need to go and uh, really technically worry about all that uh, too much for now um, so we don't have to really go and worry about ever having to uh, push around with the water anymore uh, but for this one here however we do need to go and worry about uh, draining out the water here uh, but you want to be careful in this particular spot though however because uh, there is going to be one of those annoying spiky things that are going to be out here and just make sure to kind of go and duck underneath when the time is right. So just duck underneath as quickly as you can. And right on over here with their, for this main item here for this dungeon is getting ourselves with the blue mail. So this actually cuts our damage by half, which that will be absolutely nice. Oh, and uh, look at that. And uh, speaking about our uh, item in usage, that's how it works. So now our health bar will actually start going in, I think, like just by one inch of each of the different hearts that happen. So pretty nice. So let's go and uh, grab ourselves with that extra heart, though, that's up here. And let's decide to uh, head back to the front of the entrance now, because that's where we do need to go and make our way back towards, too. Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, man. Eh. That was a horrible idea for it. Okay, let's go and head back up this stairs, because hopefully this can try and take us back to the, uh, to the first floor. Okay, I think we are back on the first floor, so I guess we'll just, just kind of fall around through the here for a little bit. Just watch out for these guys, though. And when I said watch out for those guys, uh, I mean not get hit by them. <laughs> and here we are. I think we finally made it to our destination. Yeah, and these are where you can get all the extra hearts and everything back. And uh, I think a perfect time for right now is let's just go and do a little bit of a quick save. Right there. And let's go and get ourselves all ready to go now. So make sure that you have... Uh, I, I don't know if boomerangs will probably work with this guy as well too. But I would strongly suggest I'm probably using the hookshot. Because majority of everything that was here in the Swamp Palace was all using with the uh, hookshot that was happening here. So here's Argus. There's his defensive walls. We have to knock out all those different annoying eyeballs that are here. And just go at it. Now, at some point, uh, after when all the eyeballs have literally been destroyed, um, just make sure that uh, you have to be really careful when Argus starts jumping around. Okay. Well, here comes out all these annoying shooting eyeballs, though. Uh, come on, you. Okay, so now he's down there. It's a good thing that we have this, uh, with this, uh, well, for what the blue mail has to offer here, because now we don't ever have to worry about losing a whole bunch of parts anymore. All right, there we go. Come on. Oh, jeez. Come on, you. Yes, just get out of here already. Oh, there we go. Finally. Okay, now I think we should be getting into the next phase. And it's just going to be all using the sword here. Or really using anything to kind of help you out for a little bit. Yeah, I don't think, uh... I don't think a boomerang is going to really help you out on this. Oh, God. 
Now, this is where things start getting really crazy, because this man starts becoming like a flying Beemos at this point. Oh, no. Uh, go, 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 go. Oh, no. Run, run, run. Ouch. I'm literally running into that. Come on. Come on, you. Uh, you should be getting into, into the range where you should be able to hopefully go down at least some point soon. Uh, oh, no. Ah! This is really not good. Uh, this is where you have to be really light on your feet here. Because this guy goes really fast around when he starts doing that. Come on. Just get out of here already, you. You should be almost be done by now. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Yes, I think he's done. Oh, thank you. Wow. That was almost uh, a little bit scary there. But anyways, we got ourselves with that blue mail. I don't think there was any too much to really worry about it. But if you don't have the blue mail, then yeah, you'd be in a, in a problem for hurting right there. But we got ourselves with a heart container. That is another additional heart for us there. And heading all the way up here to this floor. Here's what we do need. I don't know if this will probably be the thumbnail or not, but here it is. Our very first of the portrait sages to be rescued. Now let's go and fix up with the Zora Queen here once and for all. Man, I have to say, the Zora Queen has been in so much different problems, like, for the longest time. <laughs> like, she was almost about to be turning out to be like Zelda all the time. Always running into problems. <laughs> like, first of all, like, she has some sort of problem with, like, uh... Some sort of like stone that she did not have, and then we had to go and find it, and then all of a sudden now where she gets turned into a into a portrait sage. Like, come on now. But anyways, we're now finally out of there. And I think what the good thing for me here is is that I'm gonna kinda go and end off with this episode out here for today. Uh, and I think that's all that I was gonna do was just plan on a battle out with Argus there and also go and show you guys the blue mail. Uh, so in the next one, we are of course going to be heading on over towards to the left hand side. And if you guys do go and see, I believe that is where the uh, desert palace should at least be, I wanna say, right? Because we still got like the eastern palace area over there. I think that's like the eastern swamp area. I think that's gonna be where we need to kind of go and check around as well too but we'll have to see where that's gonna kind of lead us into and also as well we do have like a lost woods dungeon which i really do like that one as well because that one is actually pretty cool but we'll have to worry about that for another time though but however i'll see you guys then and of course peace